Design, a special one from the CEO Stan Tongue with the spoon. And your boy, Friday the South Band. Charges on the beat. Put that to the strength 
same nation to ask the legal advisor to the president why he dropped the case against me. I've done nothing. I, I don't know who this guy is. And he defeated my character for the work that I have done for this country. For the life. I've served every government that I've come and I've left a print. But the legal advisor, Bushi Ben Keita, told the president of the Republic of Liberia, he instructed the Senate court prosecutor to drop the case without my knowledge. I did not drop this case. I want us to go through the legal proceeding. Whatever judgment that comes with it, I will settle for it. I am going to the mansion with my supporter. And I'm going there to stay there until I hear from Bushi Ben Keita why they dropped the case. In the meantime, my case is still standing in, his, in, the, in, 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 the, in the civil court. Criminal cohesion, that's what I said. Manessing, that's what I said. Disorderly conduct, and that was my file in the court. And I can prove it. And I ask the justice system to not fail me. The issue raised by the M Force's wife. I said it, I said I shoot you. My question to you is: Is the establishment of the War and Economic Crimes Court? for the purpose of interrogating or, or investigating accused associated with the war, constitution law and our internal. In keeping with Article 25, the sanctity of contracts all those who are valid things who are replaced will be compensated for the unexpired portion of their terms in keeping the law. There is a caveat to that. The code of conduct in Article 5 <coughs> says all officials appointed by the President of the Republic of Nigeria shall not a engage in political activities, canvass or contest for elected offices, b use government facilities, equipment or resources in support of partisan or political activities, and c serve on a campaign team of any political party or the campaign of any independent candidate. That's the law. The law say you cannot be a tenured official and you actively take part in politics. Serve on a campaign team, dress up in campaign paraphernalia, post all your campaign photos, and do all the other activities, and then still expect your tenure to be respected or expect to be paid uh, if your tenure is taken away. Therefore, we announce that for those individuals who have tenure today, who we have evidence for our later the code of conduct? Oh, thank you, Mr. Chairman. Mm -hmm. Mr. Nuri, how are you? Are you, are you on drugs? No, sir. Have you taken a drugs test? No, sir. I'm on test. Are you doing now? Right now, I'll take one. Are you sure you're not on drugs? Right now, I'll take a drug test. I'm not on drugs. Have you, have you taken drugs before? No. The president said drugs would be public enemy number one. The president who has nominated you has taken his drug test to the vice president. Why have you deliberately refused to take your drug test? Honorable Senator, I have not refused to take my drug test. As I said, and I say again, even right now, if it's available, I'm ready to take Why now? Why are you disrespecting the president? Uh, I'm only a, a nominee. Have you done your asset declaration? I'm only a nominee. I uh, have not done that, sir. So the president declared his asset. You refuse to do yours. The I'm president took drug tests, you refused to take drug tests. I haven't refused to take drugs, drug tests. 
I haven't refused to declare my asset. The law requires as an official of government uh, for me to declare my asset. And when I become an official of government, if confirmed by you, sir, I will declare my asset. Do you deserve my vote? Yes, sir. Give me two reasons why I should vote for you. The first reason is I'm qualified. The second reason, I'm a son of Bonnie, and you are my representative. I'm a senator. So, okay, I'm looking at your educational qualification. I see you have uh, academic qualification. I see you have two A's degree. Then I see you in the right of the of off, on, off. What do you mean of on, off? Honorable Senator, I don't only have two A degree. It should have been four, actually, but I have three. That's what I'm reading. I brought them with me. It's uh, on my credentials there, you see three. One is in general education, one is in social work, one is in political science. I also brought my bachelor's degree, my honor society certificate, and those documents are accompanied by transcript sealed by the various institutions. So if you, if you request them, sir, I'll present them. You want to show me where they have for the last time on your, that the government gave us? Uh, yeah. The bachelor's is right here. No, no, no. What you give us, I see general education, I see social work. Okay? You know, rather that we're on off. I don't know what you mean, on off. No. When I attended the university, it came up to during the war. You and I went to school together, honorable senator. So when we were at the university, the war struck us. So on and off, and then we fled. No, I didn't believe that brother was no war. No, I am so saying you, when I. When I just see dummies together, they don't believe that brother. Yeah, so. Are you confused? No, definitely not. Do you have any regrets why you were dismissed after the war? Uh. Partially, I'll say yes, because I am saying here that those who support the continuation of the 24 year war where we are making peace, I support such people. You can blow me, I blow you in a personal thing, but when you support 24 year of peace and its continuation to allow our children and those unborn, for their mother to deliver them peacefully under a conducive atmosphere, where investors will get attracted to come and invest and put food on the people's table. I stand by you. But if people who just got elected, that we went on the ground to do everything we could in our weekdays, spend our own money, our vehicles there are all down because of that. If you can prioritize a uh, work on coal, asset recovery, this one at the early stage. The question would be, what about Madame Saleh who had the larger troops, international troops, in this country for UN? It was the time to do what they wanted to do. The troops that came here was the larger troop ever in Africa for peace. They didn't do it. They did not do it during George Weah time. But they, there was a noise. And George Weah sent a letter to the Senate to advise him. The Senate had an open hearing, invited experts from all over to come. And they found out that the TRC, based upon with the one World Bank, is filled with flaws, biases. It was politically uh, put together to accuse and indict and get rid of certain people while others who were supposed to appear to give their the statement on their experience in the war refused flatly. However, the case, do you support the peace continuation or do you want to go after people that you know may probably have all other forces. Some people say, Sierra Leone people that had a thing. The J people, what, your interest is J people? I'm not Sierra Leone J people, what happened? How many cool it out, I tell you, what happened there? Are they at peace right now? There is instability up and down over there. There's no general security over there. 
So as a minister of the gospel of Christ, I believe in whom I trust. I believe in reconciliation. And I want to say to you, your support for peace is the reason I invited you. Liberians are home. They want their peace. Now Liberians abroad, who live there, who settle there, who become American, and they only uh, every day calling for things that will not affect them. When I told they say, oh, bring down the out of the peace of Liberia. How do I threaten? I build a lot, one of the larger university in this country. That's a glass building there. I cannot make trouble to break my home. My children here, my wife, my whole family here. I got nowhere to carry them. So the same way people do football analysis before the game, they know who will win, they, they're talking. Now how I do political analysis and security analysis. I haven't been trained at home and abroad and have this experience for 26 years. So I only speak to create awareness. Now don't pursue this because it will not be good for you for now. So your desire for peace, your urge for peace, your commitment to peace, your light of peace, I pray for you. In the name of Jesus, the power of the Holy Spirit, vested in me. Lord, you met me in Libya. I just couldn't see your face. And you told me to follow you. And based upon that, you put your word in my mouth to decree and declare prosperity, victory, success to be the head and the tail. to spawn you from Vanjama, you from maryland you from sino across the 15 counties of liberia this is the late night show the late night politics on spawn i'd like to say welcome to all of you across the world thanks for joining us again on another edition of the program this is where we uh talk about liberia we talk about the happenings we come with diverse views and bring you critical analysis on those different um, happiness here across the country every single day. So I'd like to say welcome to the program tonight. Uh, my name is Nelson Collet. We are live on Spoon FM 107.5. We're live on Fabric Radio 101.1. And we are live on Super 95.5 FM. Thanks to the partner radio stations across Liberia that are always relaying this program. Um, we are live on several radio frequencies across Liberia as well. And I want to say thanks to uh, those different radio stations across the country that are, that are um, also relaying the program. 
Well, lots of things to talk about here tonight. Um, a whole lot happening in Liberia. And um, we're going to dive into those issues as the um, as we get set to bring you another fascinating show here tonight. And again, I want to say welcome. Thanks for joining us. Uh, kindly share the program as you come on. We appreciate if you were to do that. Thanks to our folks online. Um, we're live across the internet on YouTube, Spoon Talk Live on Facebook, Spoon TV, Fabric TV, and Super TV. Let me recognize a few of our folks in the comment session um, just before bringing the rest of the theme on. Um, I see. Okay, so let me just take it from the top as I get it coming from this end. Okay, so I see Alice Bam. Alice Bam is following via YouTube. Thanks for joining us tonight, Alice. We appreciate you. Neil Brown says he's watching. We appreciate you, Neil. Thanks for joining us tonight. Uh, Saya Jala, he says, uh, hello, my Spoon family. You're following from YouTube. Thanks for joining us tonight. And uh, thanks. Uh, this name is Facebook user. Yes, he said, I'm following from New York. Thanks for joining us. Lasana Sona, thanks for joining us tonight. We appreciate you. Emmanuel Dolo. Emmanuel Dolo, thanks for being here tonight. Uh, Kolo Blaman, we appreciate you. Thanks for being here tonight, ma'am. Um, Rufus August uh, B. Osina. Osana, thanks for being here. Silas and Warrior, thanks for joining us tonight. You say a good good morning to the nation's biggest platform and good morning to the peace-loving people of Liberia. Just joining from my comfort zone, Pipeline City, uh, the Pipeline community in Pinsio City. Thanks for joining us tonight. Yaya Davis, we appreciate you. You said you joined us from uh, China. Yes, we appreciate you tonight. Joshua P. Badi, thanks for joining us. Um, Ambassador Emmanuel Papi Yenzi, we appreciate you tonight for joining us. Thanks for being here on time. Kindly share the program as you come on tonight. It's going to be a great show. It says, uh, why are you always afraid of war crimes court? Uh, are you not, the, uh, you are not the only person who fought the war in this country. Remember, you only fought for nine months and others fought for 14 and broken years. Then they are not talking about about, they are not talking, but only you. Well, I think he, he's uh, uh, talking about one of the videos we played. Uh, but thanks for joining us tonight. We appreciate you, uh, Ambassador Mo, uh, Emmanuel Papi Yanzi. I see Achi Achibe Do. Thanks for being here. We appreciate you, Justina Jojo uh, H. Bestman. Thanks for being here tonight. We appreciate. All of you for joining us on the late night show. Um, I see Robert, Robert uh, Melo. Thanks for being here. You say you're falling from Firestone, Margibi County. Jen Jen says hello, Nelson. Thanks for joining us, my fila Loy. We appreciate you. Um, Sumo, Sumo, Mawa Bentu. Thanks for being here. We appreciate you this morning. Thanks for joining us on the late night show. It's morning hours in Liberia. And um, I see Tano Zota. Thanks for being here. Emmanuel Mark, Jefferson uh, Johnson. We appreciate you. Rini Sando. Thanks for being here tonight. We appreciate all of you for joining us on this edition of the late night show. Uh, Sharon Poka, uh, Moses Hutton. Um, wow, a lot of you joining us from different locations tonight. Um, I see Don Shiko, Emmanuel uh, Domba Jr. Thanks for being here, Eddie uh, Koa. Who a lot of you joining us tonight. Not BK Sassi say thanks for being here tonight. We appreciate you. You're following via YouTube. Um, David Washington, we appreciate you. Now it's moving so fast. Tama, Tama, uh, Tama, uh, Tongono, thanks for being here. Hope I got your last name right. Lofty Smith, 
thanks for being here. We appreciate you. Um, Mariah Sando, thanks for being here tonight. Thanks to all of you for joining us. I appreciate you for coming on tonight. And I kindly share the program. Let's have a great show. The late night show is back. And and um we are here tonight uh to bring you another fascinating show. Our sincere apologies that we couldn't bring you the show last evening due to the fact that we had to um uh, we had some technical issues that were far beyond our control. And, um, well, it's a good thing that we're here tonight. And um, let's hope we can have a great show. Let's hope we can have um, the program moving on tonight. Well, <clears throat> lots of things happening in the country. And uh, too many things happening in Liberia. So let me just give you some of the updates as we get set to move on tonight. Um, let me try to bring you some of the updates as we uh, get set to move on tonight. Well, um, a lot of you are aware that the... Uh, CDC, as a political party, an institution, um, had a situation of recent where the chairman of the party resigned um, following the resignation of Chairman Molu. Well, there was this uh, issue, uh, there was a situation where Anthony Janga Kaur was being named as the chairman of the CDC. Well, upon taking on that role, he, he has vowed to lead a disruptive, he has vowed to lead a disruptive opposition if the Unity Party regime remains in his word, power drunk, and um, According to him, the CDC is, according to uh, the president, on the other hand, uh, he said the CDC is not an integrity institution. Uh, the CDC is a political party. And so they are going to do what political parties do, what opposition political parties do. And um, that is to put put, uh, put, uh, put the government's feet to fire. So they're going to remain on that path in making sure that the government does the right thing in the interest of the country. Well, they went on to name um, other things that they've seen in uh, just a few months of the Black Hyde administration or the Unity Party government. Um, from, As a matter of fact, two days from now, the government is going to be two months in power. Here in Liberia, is the 21st of, uh, today is the 21st of, 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 of March. So today, considering Liberia's uh, time zone and all of that, today is today marks exact uh, two months of the Unity Party government, the Unity Party administration, where the president took the oath of office on the twenty second of January, to the twenty second of February, to the twenty second of March. Well, today is the twenty first. We've clocked. Two months, two months of the United Party government, two months of the rescue administration, a government that so many Liberians across the world were eager to see come to power, a government that raised the hopes and the expectations of the Liberian people, giving them an assurance of a new day that, well, Liberia is this way today. We are having all of those issues. There is this drug situation. There's lack of accountability, lack of transparency, and, and, and a lot happening. But if you give us the opportunity to steer the affairs of this country, to take on leadership, we are going to rescue the country. 
a tough race, several political parties in the process, and then the rescue wins. On the 17th of, of, of November, 22nd of uh, January, rescue is swung into power. It's been two months, two solid months. So in just two months, the CDC as a political institution is saying that they are going to be a disruptive opposition. Well, they've already started pointing out ills. They've already started pointing issues, uh, pointing at issues uh, that they think this administration is not doing right. And um, amongst those are uh, the, uh, amongst those issues are the tenure situation. That's one of the issues they mentioned. That's one of the reasons why uh, the chairman is now saying that they're going to be a disruptive opposition. That in the first place, those who are in tenure positions and consider, given all of what is happening now with respect to uh, the, 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 the moves that the current administration is taking towards tenure and all of those issues, they are saying that they are going to disrupt. Well, and, and, and so uh, that, that is happening on one end. And so um, in two months, They've pointed out a lot of issues that they think the government is not doing well. And they think that even the asset recovery team doesn't have what it takes to perform the function, to carry on this tax that uh, they've been entrusted with. Uh, and, and, and whenever it comes to this issue of the asset recovery uh, of a team and the function, you know that one of the issues that the, the the opposition community will always point to is the issue of possible wage hunt. The high possibility of uh, the, the process being more of a wage hunt rather than having a team that is going to restore or recover assets, uh, uh, restitute, making sure that individuals who use state resources get to restitute uh, whatever they used. So these are our issues, and those are things that have sparked the kind of vigor that we've seen um, the, the chairman uh, you know, of the CDC uh, coming in with. Well, on the flip side, lots of things are happening. So many things are happening. Um, the vice president of the Republic of Liberia, um, His Excellency Honorable Jeremiah Pankun, today uh, served as a keynote speaker at uh, a pro democracy uh, summit that was uh, organized. And he made a very important comment. He spoke of accountability as a key to promoting Liberia's growth and development. So uh, the vice president went on to say that part of the reason why Liberia is the way it is is because Liberians or this country have not experienced accountability to some extent. Individuals have occupied positions in the country in past, even before getting to where we are. Those people in most cases have been entrusted with state resources to manage and all of that, and they will not account. In most cases, people were squandered or people were misused what belongs to everyone, what belongs to the national covers and the go with impunity. So um, he thinks that if the democracy of our country should grow, should flourish, the issue of accountability plays a pivotal role. So not just pointing out 
or outlining accountability as one of the major issues that has undermined the democracy of our country, but he has showed and pledged his government's support, this administration, this president under which he served as vice president, the willingness of this government to ensure that accountability is top on the agenda, especially under this administration. Well, um, another key thing that has been happening in the country today. Let me bring, uh, let me bring Rudolph on. Uh, what's happening here? I'm trying to get Rudolph to come on, but it's Rudolph. Uh, just try to log out and, and, and log in. Let's see how that works. There seems to be a little bit of technical issue here. So while this is happening, most most Liberians across the country witnessed an exercise that the former mayor was being hailed for. Um, president Ellen Johnson's relief, the first president in post-war uh, post Liberia, had this very good plan, a very uh, unique blueprint with respect to how they wanted city ordinance to be at the time having Madame Mirabro serving as uh, the, 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 the city mayor and all of that. This beautiful blueprint about city ordinance relocating the people from red light market to the Ominga. Well, at some point there were Actions taken, and in no time, it fit, you know, everything just went off. And 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 Honor Mayor Jefferson Koji did embark on this process, and it was a very unique one. The exercise was good. In no time, we saw the people as stubborn as the marketers were in the red light area, they were being moved to the Omega market. And in fact, when the pronouncement was made. Some of the marketers who had who did not have money when they took loans to relocate the red light market to Ominga. It was good from the onset. A lot of people started complaining, oh, the distance. In fact, Ominga has so much water and so forth. But gradually, people got to adjust. A new uh, 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 market building was constructed, dedicated by the former president. And in no time, most business people who took loans and had other savings went and invest, invested a whole lot. And they expanded the area. Most shops, most stores were being built and everything. Ominga was, uh, red light was moved to Ominga. In no time, the project took on, red light was giving a fist lift. But then, gradually, this, the marketers came back. As we speak, red light. Red light is as congested as it were uh, several months back before the action. And even before getting to where we are, even under the previous administration, that very beautiful action that was taken, which would have been one of the legacies of the Koji mayorship, was undermined. The people went back to red light. At the point, it says it was a decision of letting people just sell for Chris uh, for Tunisians. After Tunisians, they'll go back to Minga. They didn't get to go back. Red light today is very, very filthy. Very filthy. Let me let me bring Rudolph up. So they uh the leadership of the Liberia Marketing Association is calling for the relocation of red light to Ominga Market. And according to them, the presence of the marketers in red light is preventing the flow of traffic and movement of people. And so they call it on the president, President Brakai, to ensure that marketers are relocated. They're moved from red light and relocated to the Ominga market. Well, is it possible? <laughs> Uh, let, let, let me bring uh, Rudolph on. Rudolph, thanks for joining in tonight. 
Um, thank you, Nelson. Thanks for bringing me on as well. Okay, okay so, so the audio is a bit. Um, is it better Nelson? now? Yeah, I know. I know. What, um, I knew the problem. Is it okay now? Is it good? I, I think it's it's much better. Um, I think it's much better. Yeah. So, um, I was just trying to give some of the updates. So, is it possible? Given all we saw on uh, the previous administration, there was term, very robust. In no time, we saw the police officers. They were there with the batons, removing the people. It wasn't an easy task. At a point, the marketers and the police officers, they, they clashed. Because imagine being very used to doing your activities now I, I want to bring I want to bring an image here um I hope I can get a better one but let me share let me share with you an image oh sure okay so I hope this is this is good okay this is not too good so at a point imagine getting used uh being used to a particular area where you go every day and do your hustle and somebody comes up one day and said they, and say they're removing you. So that was the situation with those guys. So the, 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 the clash with the police, it was a tough one. But in no time, gradually, they were removed. Now, with the call coming from the marketing association to get those people to go back, is it possible? Is it something that is easily achievable? Is this what a government has just come into power? Is this something that is, they want to venture into now? Uh, look, looking at uh, the backlash and everything that, that could just come up, the image that it will project about an administration that a lot of people, even up to now, still hope will bring about the kind of changes that they envisioned. And then on the flip side, the LNP came up with uh, a circular, an announcement. They're going to be taking some very strong uh, actions. Uh, very important measures will be put in place uh, to ensure that motor vehicles, road safety, the safety regulation is a here too. And then the big one. This video that surfaced with Senator Prince Johnson and the representative the lawmaker Samuel Koga. Everything that the Prince Johnson said. Uh, no, we, we, we're going to save that video and everything for the last. That's going to be part of our, our final talking point. But we'll have just do your what's on your mind quickly as we try to move into the actual show now. Yes, Nelson, thank you for bringing me on. And let, let, and let me say good evening and good morning to all of our listeners. Um, so the thing, what is on my mind is always the issues of the Liberian people, but most so today, what is on my mind is the issue of the budget. And I mean, I am just so happy that for the first time in many years, we are having a people centered budget. Mm -hmm. We are going to see a budget that is focused on the people. I mean, because when you go through the budget and you look at the level of re reduction that, uh, that has been made from the past government to now, you see that, uh, for example, Ministry of State, there is an 11 million reduction. Honor, Honor President, we are, Ministry of State was getting $20 million, 20 million just to function for, for, for one year. But now we see that it has been cut down to nine million. The the office of the president, Mr. Weir, was 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 taking from the budget four point four million. But now JMB came and said, no, you cannot be doing that. The money should be used for the people because it's their their money. So he said, I will not take my office my my office will not need four point four. Instead, let's do two point two million. And then you go down to the vice president. Under Mr. We are the, we are the vice president had four million budget. Now we see it has been cut down to two. We go to the legislature. 
67 million, it has been cut down to 38. And then we go to the protein. From 4 million, it has been reduced to 1.2 million. Go to the speaker budget. From 2.2 is down to 1.6. The deputy speaker from 1 million is down to $515,000. So Nelson, what this tells us is that JMB is ready. He is ready to work for the people. And these, these, and these re reductions that were done, these monies were added to things of more things of things of 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 more more value, things that will benefit the general public. For example, the Ministry of Health, they have increased the budget for them. Ministry of Education, they have increased the budget. Agriculture is also seeing an increase, and they're saying these are things that the people benefit from. So, uh, so yes, I, I mean, I am going to say kudos to Mr. Kamara and his his team, and a huge one to JMB. Thank you. That's my. That's what is on my mind. Yeah, and 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 um, you're right on this. Uh, talking about <clears throat> the budget and 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 some of the uh, the latest adjustments. Some of the adjustments for this uh, uh, the budget for this uh, fiscal year, and it's very important. And I, I was just I just thought to uh, you know put this up as you went through. Uh, those different, you know, entities and, you know, those different budgets that were, uh, those allotments that were made for the different entities or institutions or offices and, and stuff like that. And you're right. Now, but, but you know, what, what this, what, what this, this right up here is uh, projecting to a lot of people is, Now, you may go to the other aspect where the budget for education, for example, is being increased a little bit, you know, and stuff like that. Uh, but this right here, taking into consideration all of the cuts, does it match uh, the increase in the other areas that uh, will be considered priority areas? So the next thing is there are folks who are pushing this argument that this right here is a continuation <laughs> of the harmonization scheme from the previous administration. Now and, and, and their argument is that their own argument is if you went back to the harmonization from previous administration from uh the CDC government, they caught from other uh, activities, from salaries of other people, so that they will direct it towards, for example, what they always talk about, the free tuition policy. They said the reason why they reduce certain expenditures and everything they had to, to make was because they wanted to divert it to certain things. And then as, as we look at the what, what is being displayed right before us here, you see a massive cut. A massive cut. And you see some areas where there's increase. So you take, for example, um, um, let's 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 take it step by step, Rudolph. Uh let's take it step by step, one after another. You take, for example, Ministry of State, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. 20 million. 20 million. It has been reduced to what? 9 million. So right here, you're talking about 11 million cut from the Ministry of State alone. And then you move to the office of the president. 4.4 million. It has been reduced to 2.2 million. So you're talking about 50% cut right here in the of, uh, in the budget of the president. And now you, you'll be talking about 2.2 million. 2.2 million. Now we are 13 million cut already. So you move next. Next up is the vice president, 4 million. 
50% cut. Um, it has been uh, reduced to 2 million. So you have another 2 million right here. And then you move where next? Uh, legislature. The overall budget for the legislature. From 67 million, it has been reduced to what? 38 million. I'm not a good mathematician right here. But the 60, 67 million, uh, 38 million, you're talking about 29 million. Yeah, 29 million reduction. That was, that was uh, cut. Right? 29 million. And then you move to the next one, the budget of the uh, pro tem. And I'm Yomdi Kanga Lawrence. Honor Senator Abachi, he was getting 4 million. Madam Pro Tem is getting 1.2 million now. So, right here, you're talking about uh, 2. Point, uh, I want to get it right. I want to make sure it's not a perfect key math. <laughs> no, <I'm saying. laughs> you, you don't want to you don't that's want a, to get to the how you a, call it <laughs> that's a 2.8 million reduction okay 2.8 million reduction right here yeah you're right 2.8 million 2. Point, uh uh 2.8 million so you talk where we are now We've already uh, we are we've already reached at forty seven million. The cut the deduction already at forty seven million. So we're still going. Where we are next is what the budget of the the speaker, right? Councillor Fonanti Kofa. Budget of the speaker reduced from two point two million to what one point six million. So um that's 1.4 million reduction. Yeah, 1.4 million reduction less than 50%. Uh, okay. 1.4 million. Oh no, sorry, sorry Nelson, I might be wrong. Uh sorry, that's that is point, point 0.6 million reduction, sorry. Point 0.6 million reduction, which is 600,000. Okay, I want to get this right. Okay, yeah, you're right. You're right. So, uh, let me do this. Okay, let me do this. Okay, so we move to the next one. The the deputy speaker, 1 million. It's been reduced that's, to 500K. That's 485,000 reduction. Uh, 485 thousand and we're still moving on okay so this is where we are right yeah. so if you look at all of if you consider all of the uh all of the all of the uh the courts all of the courts um you're talking about 47 million a little over for the seven billion. Is, Nelson, is that your map or the profit map you're doing right now? Not a profit map. <laughs> <laughs> a little over for the seven billion from all the cuts here, right? Mm -hmm. So then let's come to the increase, and this is very important. Let's come to the increase. So you have, for example, Ministry of Education for now eight million. million to. 105. 105. 7 so 7 million plus. And then you have uh what else? University of increase. Liberia. Yeah, plus 2 million. Yes. And then you one come million. with agriculture. Yeah, four. 1 million. 1. And then you come to health. Health, you, you're talking about. um. 11, 11 million yeah 11 million so we're off yes nelson this is where we are mm -hmm. 
the increase the increase versus the decrease mm -hmm. so so i i want us to get this thing right uh, for for the sake of our audience yeah this whole budget thing we need to settle the debate tonight and be done with it after tonight if we talk about the budget <laughs> issue that expert will bring to can't talk about it again we we want to settle the dust on this whole budget thing yeah so here are we here are we now this is where we find ourselves all the 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 the, 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 the how, how do you call it the all the cuts is a little over 47 million yep then you have the increase is 21 million okay mm -hmm. so let's 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 say the 47 million you minus the 21 million from the 47 million 26 million yep over 26 million we're talking about we mm -hmm. this is where we are over 26 million so i mean is this another harmonization is this a continuation of the harmonization policy Nelson. that was brought out by the cdc government Nelson, the thing is to i mean i don't think Vasco, welcome a... to the show I don't really see thank you, the, Nancy. <clears throat> I don't don't really see the confusion in this, right? Because first of all, uh, can you put up the last government budget? Like the last budget is sending. Do you know how much how much it was? No, no, this, this is this is this is all mm -hmm. right. This is a summary. Mm -hmm. All right. This is a summary of all of the increase, right? Mm -hmm. Versus no, 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 no. The, That's the, the summary cost. of all of the large increase. Not, not, not all of the increase. Okay, let me say the major increase. Yes. All right. The major increase that was done versus the 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 the, the major cuts, right? Versus the major cut. But but from 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 the overall perspective, Rudolph, mm -hmm. do you agree with this side of the argument that says? This is a continuation of the harmonization scheme. No, I, no, I don't. And here is why. Okay. First of all, the point I was trying to make when I asked you if you had a last year budget to. Okay, I, I'm, I'm going to get that coming up. Just, just yeah, go ahead. I was, yeah, I was trying to, to first of all see if the last year budget and this year budget if they are the same. If they are not the same, because from what I am understanding, this this budget is a is a bit smaller than last year budget. No, no, yeah, it's it's smaller. Last Thank year you. budget Thank you. was uh, seven hundred. Uh, it was uh, around seven hundred eighty okay. million, Good. and this one is in uh, six hundred. Uh, is in six hundred million. Okay, know? Nelson. So the thing is this: all of those those costs, you know, it was not like you got two equal transfer leg. You know what I'm saying? Then you <clears throat> cut some from the other one to draw on the other one. No, this budget is less, right? So you don't expect the exact amount of cuts that were made on last year's budget <clears throat> to be added exactly on this year's budget because we are talking about two different numbers here. So, so that is like, I think that was just very easy to understand. And to answer your question, no, I don't think that this is the same thing because the thing is Nelson. And here is it. I don't have issue with harmonization. Uh -huh. What I have issue with is how yeah. it is being carried out. <laughs> issue of no, I don't. Vasco, for real, I, I really don't. I mean, this government did not and cannot clearly show us what it did with those monies that were that that they, they cut off from salaries and stuff like that but here is a budget that is telling you okay i am making this cut or i am making not even cover this reduction and here is where i am sending it right so the librarian people can clearly see the impact of these cuts but then we go back to harmonization some of i came and told us say, oh we call him that money to put it i mean to in, in and they, they, and they, so they, so they go up the harmonization, Nelson. 
It was to employ more people. Simple as that. That was the goal of, of their formalization. There were, were seditions who were agitating at their party headquarters that they were not treated fairly. So in order to create space for them at the last minute, that's why those guys carry out that fraudulent harmonization to provide more, more jobs and pay them. That was why. It was not because they were, were trying to invest more money into sectors that will, will better the country overall. No, that was not the reason. So I don't agree. When someone says it's the, the same process, I don't agree. Okay. And it's good that, that Vasco is here. So so I so I I I really want him to tell us about that whole policy. <laughs> okay. Thank you. V Vasco, let's hear from you. Uh we, we want to transition quickly to our next issues. Oh, thank you, Nelson. Um <clears throat> for me, I'm not a fine arts person. Um I will speak on this budget. And uh, I want the people that are listening to listen to what I will say. The first thing I heard my brother Rudolph say, the budget is people-centered budget. It's a people-centered budget. What is a people-centered budget? This budget, for what I'm looking at, that you guys saying, oh, there is caught in the president budget, president office budget, there was caught everywhere. And, and you guys did some increment in other places. Oh, I mean, I heal them for that. No cost, no cost and thing, and then where to place it, like to help and uh, um, education, other places, that's fine for them. But I can tell you, the entire budget, if you look at it, almost like 90% or 93% of the money they got in there is just for reoccurrence expenditure. So the United Party have come back to us again to invest in vehicles, invest in those top people that will be in the Vero, you're going to see ministers going to start making more money. What is in that budget for the ordinary people? No. You are even talking about the court doing the CDC term, I will tell you, my brother. There is nothing in the budget there for development, the real development for the people. Oh, God. <laughs> Vasco, Vasco, do, do, do you really mean what you're saying? Or yeah, I mean? majority of the money in the budget is just for salary. No, so, so how, I don't how, think, how, I don't think how, Vasco knows that over 120 plus million in the budget yeah. was used to service debt that was that was incurred by your government. Which which one of the debt? No, let me tell you one thing. <laughs> they all the noise you're making with this budget. This budget going to the house. That's why I don't want to talk on it much yet. But when that budget get in there, they will chunk the outside again. Because I'm telling you, the loan they used to say, if you're talking about paying debts, you're going to list item by item which one of the debt you're going to pay. You think you're going to set a buck figure and say, oh, one person more made on that just for debt? You are only wired about five million. Do you know that? No, 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 no guys. Uh, let, let, let's do this. Let's Va Vasco, Vasco, take twenty seconds and conclude on this issue. Yeah. So Nelson has it. I was student, the university student in the country. They are not part of that budget. The free tuition, the free tuition will be put to an end. The wires will be don't, don't worry, when you do no, these no, things, but, but, then you but, but, say, Vasco, Vasco, yeah. if you say free tuition will be put to an end and the students are not in this thing in, in this in this entire budget, I I'm I'm trying to get exactly where you're coming from, Vasco. Uh I mean, like uh how how are the students going to be put out of this budget? How are they not captured? Now, politics aside, let's let's face this thing as it is, Vasco. Yeah. So so if you, Nelson, the previous administration, right? 
Mm -hmm. The dead harmonization. People saw clearly where some of those money went. They paid but, 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 are, you, are you aware? Are you aware, Vasco, that the University of Liberia that you're talking about mm -hmm. is one of those entities that saw an increase from 30 million to 32 million? So, so if, for example, from 30 million to 32 to million. 32 million. So, if, for example, million. yeah, if, if, for example, the issue at the University of Liberia was that the, the institution was constrained, they didn't have uh, that much money to attend to this free tuition thing, the budget was not reduced for the yeah, University but, but, of Liberia. Yeah, but it was see. rather increased by two million. So, it, 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 the is difference? there any reason to think, is there any reason to believe here, Vasco, that the University of Liberia is not going to continue the free tuition policy due to budgetary constraint? Because I, I, I think that's the line you're trying to push here now. That is and, it. And, and, and I want us to face that aspect of it. That is it, Nelson. Okay, the previous government, according to you, they had yeah. 30 million. They were getting 30 million, million yeah. in the University of Liberia. But yeah. at the and same there was, time, there was free tuition policy. At the same time, they had free tuition policy. Mm -hmm. That was an extra money. That was, you know, the harmonization you guys were talking all over the place for. These are some of the things the harmonization did. So tell me now, pretty soon, few mm -hmm. weeks from now, there are going to be a lot of noise in our country with the border no, no, are you guys no. talking about. Uh, because because are, care, you predicting, care, are you trying to prophesy or what? Yeah, because at home, my brother said people sent a budget. When we talk about people sent a budget, these are the people that should be affected. Look at the market <laughs> women. You're hearing the noise already. Some of those people right now, business is not even going on in the country. They're thinking how they can get food for the children to eat. At the same time, you're about to put bread on them to go and pay wise fee. And look for money to pay the children university fees. That's what we're talking wow. about here. You can take Thank your you. money and put it to health. And all the money you're putting to help education, this and that, those money you'll see no impact. It's but, just but, gonna but, make but, those people, but, it's but, just but, gonna but, make but, those again, people rich. Again, again, it's just gonna be a lot of stealing but, around but, the place. If, if there's anything to criticize this government about relative to the budget, do you think that this whole education thing is is, is strong enough to criticize the government about when it comes to this budget. Because uh, going back to the very educational sector, the Ministry of Education saw an increase from mm. 98 million to 105 million. 105 million. Good, Nelson. Right? Extra 7 million to the Ministry of Education. Now, it didn't stop there. The University of Liberia got extra 2 million. Now, the agriculture sector we're talking about here, row, row, row. Uh, uh, let's say agriculture and, and why well, row and blah, blah, blah. But let's come to agriculture. Agriculture saw an increase of one million. Though mm. the figure is something to debate, it's, it's, it's a whole debate all by itself with agriculture being one of the pillars of uh, the unity party, you know, uh, 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 arrest agenda and all of that. Five no, million no, as to whether five billion can address some of the issues in the agriculture sector. No, I mean, it's not, no, it's not nothing, man. I'm like, no. yeah, I, I'm He's, gonna come to you, Rudolph. I, I want you to hold on a bit. Let me bring Bida on. Bida is trying to come on. Bida, your lighting look. is very poor. Um, <laughs> uh, but 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 Vasco, just to conclude on this note, then I go back to Rudolph. Uh, is, is this whole debate about education strong enough? No, Nelson. It's not it's strong, not right? Strong. Yeah, it is not. Okay, no, so it's not something strong to criticize the government about, right? Because to criticize the government about this budget, you know, yeah. what? I don't want to discuss too much about this this, this identical budget mm -hmm. because we all know the budget is not like it's not something that's sitting somewhere. Yeah, this is not something that's sitting somewhere. This is another budget show for we're about to listen to pretty soon. So all these things, they are all sure. Oh, we increase they will, oh, we increase that one. Now this is a time for them to go out there to find those money. But I can tell you for sure, everything you will do with that budget in that country, Nelson, if you take away the student free 
tuition policy at a very public university mm. and you take away the 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 the, the, the wise payment for the 12 graders trust me nelson it will be like you. you did nothing in our country thank you uh real life you want to take 20 seconds and i bring be that in oh yeah yes i mean so when you talked about the ministry of agriculture i mean yeah. uh the reason why the budget is like that is because the ministry rely on a lot of donor funding to carry on a, a lot of projects around the country so 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 they have like probably hundreds of millions in uh -huh. fundings to carry out their work so maybe uh -huh. so that is why you will not see large sum over there but Vasco, real quick, Nelson, just ten more seconds, please. To talk to no, go but, but, your... no, 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 no. Just, just before leaving where you were, Rudolph, if 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 that is something to go into, mm -hmm. then almost every sector in the country receives lots of funding from. No, no, Let's take for example I mean... the health sector. You listen to the to the U.S. ambassador when he said annually, annually, the contribute huge amount of money to the national uh, to, to the health sector in the millions he, and I, I, as of the time he spoke he said over 60 million very close to 70 million they are pumped into the health sector yes Nelson but that is still not enough so, so that's the me sector, I mean given the importance of that sector that is still not enough so we okay. still have to contribute we, we 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 so we still have to put more money towards that but I mean, like I said, unless if you want us to keep on this topic, but I was trying to just address Vasco and his free and his free education stuff. Can I go ahead, yeah, or go you still want us to? Okay, go Vasco. Ahead. The thing is this, right? I mean, I don't think any any one of us here who have enjoyed education will say that we are against free education policy. Because for me, I am not against it. What I am against is that this thing was not done in the right way. Vasco, it was not thoroughly thought through. There were, were no no access. What? Vasco, I am serious. This thing was it was, was not done in the there was not good research done. There is no there was was no sustainability plan for this policy. So now we are JMB is not saying that oh I don't want people to, to, to go to school free. But what we are doing is I mean, we're just not continuing in your full step. No, we are going to come back to the drawing board, sit down, and make sure these things are <laughs> thoroughly thought through, and we have Thank you. have and we have systems in place for and plans for sustainability. Uh, Vasco, that's what we are going to going no. to do. No okay, problem. Thank you. thank you, Vas. Uh, thank you, um, Rudolf. Let's hear you on this issue, Bila, as we try to transition. Uh, a lot of beginners are saying hi to all of you, Vasco, Rudolph, and to the listening public. And let me appreciate you guys for the why you need analysis. Uh, basically, the, bu the budget in terms of projection is performing. But I've had this observation, basically, as related to the alloc allocation when it comes to the agriculture sector. Next thing, if you've been reading the report recently, from the World Bank, you understand that poverty has grown in Liberia from 2023 report, right? And basically, they scratch the report scratch on the rural sectors where people are mostly gaining fruit or gaining financial means to to feed themselves from the agriculture sector. Mm -hmm. And basically, that strengthens that strengthens. The issue of our government wanting to look at agriculture more definitely. For me, I'm not impressed when it comes to the issue of agriculture. And that is something that the government should look at because if you look at agriculture, it is part of the RS agenda. And it should be something that should be primarily. Yeah, I appreciate the Ministry of Finance and his things for that very unique budget. For me, I've had the observation over budget allocation and not the realistic aspect of it. For me, I've always said budget has not been realistic in terms of implementation. That was the past. We know it would not happen in the government. If a certain amount is allotted to, for example, John Peter School, 
and that amount is not given to that particular school there's a problem we hope that will not happen with this budget because in the cdc led government we saw 600 plus allotted to a particular ministry or agency it was not realistic that amount was not going to those various agency and you can you can bear witness that people were interviewed from various ministries and entities that they will come out at certain points and being disappointed, but not be realistic to the people. Now, the issue you see like bring budget has not always been realistic is budget allotment will be done on the basis of interest. People will come up to say, we allot this to the hospital, we allot this to the entity, we allot, we allot this to the ministry. But realistically, the money is not going there. I agree with you, Vasco, when you talk about allocation, budget, the budget is not a money sitting right there. Correct. But we should also understand that the budget is something, it has stages to be achieved. The stages of allocation, that is why we're in currently. I, mean, I would like to tell the, 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 the arrest agenda headed by Mr. Boaga to please look at the issue of agriculture. Agriculture is not impressive in my mind, and it is an abuse of people who study agriculture and it is something that the agenda is not reflecting for that time because for the agenda, RS agenda to be achieved, agriculture should be primarily prioritized for our people to leave from poverty and mostly it will be revenue generating. So okay. I think the budget should more reflect on agriculture, all sector education, kudos, and other various sectors that you guys have been naming, kudos are going to the budget, the universal, the, the, the universal Liberia. I mean, there was a lot done there and other various education sectors and i think the budget should be realistic to the people and let the border go to the people and be explained vernacular all of vera dollars so our people can understand and and, 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 and and you shrug a very important point um yeah. you go to other parts of liberia you talk about budget the people be yeah. asking you that what in there that that who need yeah. budget where the president sure. coming from you know all those kinds of things. So it, it, it points to the fact that when it comes to this whole issue about the budget and stuff like that, um, a lot. I mean, a lot has to be done around that. Uh, we need to do much when it um, when it comes to right. communication around it, everything, mm -hmm. uh, getting our people to know exactly uh, right. what the whole concept of uh, this this budget thing is. Now, I want us to make a quick transition here, and it's very- and I'm not continuing up, and I think the, the, the LPS now being an entity that can amplify the policies and more progress of the government should take that direction. I think they, they've been doing well to give news and other vernacular, but I mean, the issue about those key things that our people be educated on these things, to know what is budget in very vernacular, you know, it could be very good for, for us as people. Thank you. Uh, now, I, I want us to make a quick transition. You know, the vice president now was senator of Nima County. He right. got elected, and uh, his election created uh, a vacancy in the county, which means that there's got to be a by election in Nima County. Uh, Representative E. Marisin Guayon. He he passed away, and um, as a representative, as a lawmaker, his absence has created a vacancy. So there are two by elections that are going on now in Grand Julia County and Nima County, respectively. But this is where we are. In the face of everything, we're just a few months away from a, a heated electoral process in our country. Um, that brought the unity party to power a process that saw the political actors engaged senator prince johnson is one of those actors who was so much engaged with everything that was happening over the past uh over the past uh, months they were in the trenches they were everywhere talking to liberians selling the rescue agenda but what exactly is it that has gone wrong within just few months of the administration the by-election is going on in Nima county Representative samuel koga wants to run and, and, and i know so many of you saw this 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 photo of uh, the lawmaker and 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 it has taken the center stage today uh, lots of people 
sharing different opinions about this photo of the lawmaker when he went to meet the 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 the, the senator and the senator was giving him his blessing you know but aside from just being a senator the senator is a preacher man at the same time so the senator gave his blessing but beyond that there's a video here and i want us to watch this video carefully and listen to everything that the lawmaker said in this particular video nelson real quick it? yeah yeah just i mean just before we can transition just to, to provide more clarity on, on what i was saying so mm -hmm. when i so when I spoke about the 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 agricultural sector being heavily relied on donor funding, so for example, right in in 2020, the GAFSP gave gave Liberia 40 46.5 million to support smallholder farming. In 2021, Liberia got 72 million. Plus other fundings for agri for agriculture. So because our budget is not as large as we expect it to be, so we don't don't focus a lot of money into the into that sector and, because and, we do understand know, that. And, and, and this this, no this is the other aspect of it. Because so so let's let's sector. let's pull it this way. Let's pull it this way. We we are about yes. to transition. Uh, very importantly, but but let's pull it this way. Mm -hmm. Rudolph, you have your home. It is yeah. your responsibility to. Uh, you know, to to take care of your home, right, to fund everything that happens in your home, right? Yeah. And you have people who will come mm -hmm. around and usually assist you with that very responsibility. Mm -hmm. You go and ask people, oh, I need this. I want you to help me with that. But in the process, the oh, very thing which oh, you said, you told those people is a priority or you've highlighted as one of your priority. If you, in your own sense of distribution of your meager resources to issues that are of priority to you, a lot something very minimal, very minimal to one of the areas of priority, what sort of message does it send to uh, people who are coming in? So what does it say about your interest in that particular area now now that this, this is where some folks might be coming from when they raise the argument about that aspect of of of, of agriculture and everything that okay we, uh, 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 no let me just uh, answer let me nelson real quick let me answer did you come in please i beg you bella so nelson the thing is um the question you asked it depends on my size of income right okay. and number two it depends on which one of the things that I have that there are fundings in like that is a lot to that thing from the the from 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 multinational NGOs and what have you, right? So for example, this 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 agricultural sector, I mean it's not like we are going to say, oh, you please help us or whatever. I mean sometimes we we sometimes we do, but these are money that we are so of getting every every year. To, to support that process because they have okay. have because because they have have groups who are focused on supporting i mean uh on supporting co countries like us with that money every every year to help us boom our sector so if i have a, a small size of income nursing knowing for the whether i have money coming for that aspect i will focus on other top okay. priorities thank you thank you good good debate i mean that's that's <laughs> that's 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 another aspect of it, but but we have to transition quickly. Take twenty seconds, yep. uh, Bella. Quick, quickly, there's this thing that I always say. What would you be doing to the fish get dry, right? So basically, yeah. we're looking at what would you possible for people to make that. I mean, for people to value that mm -hmm. sector. I mean, that's why we're speaking from. It is logically, it is not only that that sector will only be taking people from poverty solution based when you look at the report it mm. also tell you about uh, gaining or generating revenue right that is a solution based that could that could take human index capacity from certain level to certain level 
So I want you to read that report. That report came with a very solution based on thing. So when we look at our culture, partially should get such a amount, amount that people from when you're talking about donor, right? I agree. Donor can come and give you some stuff, but how are you been treating that sector? So, so it, it, means that, it means that it means that you you Bella, you enough. disagree. That's Bella, you disagree. You, you disagree with the argument from um from Rudolph. You think yeah. agriculture should have been given more priority, uh, provided yeah. by the amount allotted, especially sure. on a, a rescued government that has agriculture as one of the key, the cardinal pillars. Sure. You think that the, 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 the five million is not yeah. enough, it doesn't reflect success on the part of the administration when it when you know, with respect to what they say about agriculture. Okay. It doesn't and, and, it doesn't. And, and, and here is it. My argument is not that the money given is enough. That's not my argument, right? We have seen an increase, but it's not enough. I get it. But given our size of budget and given the importance of other things that we are allotting more monies to, my man, can you, you tell me that you will, will prioritize agriculture over health? Let's be, be frank here. Over education? Let's be frank. So yes, give them the but, but again, of the again, again, uh, uh, Rudolph, and, and and I think then we'll go back to that same uh, to, <laughs> to, to where we were because if you want to bring this argument about the amount that donors contribute towards the sector, what comes in as donor funding? Can you name a single sector in our country that does does not get donor funding? Donor funding, yeah. Nothing. Is, is there Nothing. a single sector? Even even our elections. <laughs> it was surprise you to know that our elections are heavily funded by our international partners. Sure. Is, is there is there a, a a particular sector in our country that that that? So what I'm understanding from from Bruder, no what, funding. What, I'm from, not from funding. Of what, what I'm not funding. What I'm The entire Bruder government is. depends on donor funding. Yeah, even the CDC government, no, go ahead, the entire Bella, go ahead. government. Yeah. Go ahead, Bella. But, but 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 we have we have the transition, guys. <laughs> so so <laughs> yeah, let, let me progress. But, but we're on the same trend, but I'm just coming from a different angle that agriculture should be prized because it was one of those things that I they, agree with you. The, the IRS reflect on, and it should be something that I mean, let let do something that will take people from. Amanda, way to be beyond politician, all the places. There are people who find serious interest in agriculture, so, but they so, have so, not been so Those people have to be healthy. To let's do this. Agric 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 this, uh, is, this is unity our, party. This uh, is unity our, party. Don't forget. Our brother. Uh, that they pull a no to eat money. Let me progress. <laughs> all our allocation here, they will run beyond it and bring all body, put it in a pocket. You know, you know, we'll right Pasco, yeah. Pasco, your your argument should be based on some 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 facts. But, but <laughs> here's the thing: until the and, and this is serious. This, this this agriculture thing is serious, guys. Because you take, for example, a young man like like us here on this platform, having we said, was given an opportunity to, to serve. Um, appointed by President George Weah served as assistant minister for extension and research at the Ministry of Agriculture. That was the worst several years. Mr. We are made. They didn't tell several you years. Now, uh, from the very beginning of his appointment, when he took office and everything, I remember the first interview we had with him, he said that there were challenges. There were challenges. Fundings were not coming in, even as uh, assistant minister for research and extension. He didn't have the logistics to go out and you know to those different counties and make his presence felt and everything. First year, no logistics. Second year, no funding. Third year, the allocation is low. And then suddenly comes in uh an agenda that says agriculture is going to be top on our priority. Okay. Just the agriculture component of the agenda had a lot of people gravitating towards the rescue. And then in the first budget that comes up, 
five million. And Rudolph wants us to believe that the reason why they only added one million after after cutting over forty seven million for all the different areas, right? All the different different cut. I mean, we displayed the thing here. We were just on it before you guys came on. We were just on this thing. Yeah, here is it. We were just on it stuff. Before oh, you guys came Nelson, on, the all, fact these that cuts, we even all these all these no, no, Ruda, so Ruda, that... if you want to interrupt me, Ruda, Ruda not interrupting. All the cuts, we added it. Now the perfect key map, real map, we did, and it was over for the seven million. <laughs> and then Ruda wants us to believe that that for the seven million, even twenty or even ten of the forty-seven. Should not have gone to Iraq. No, 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 the government took the last budget and, and, and put it put it down one side and then it, and it, they took us on for only and said that we put it on the other side. No, that's not how okay. It, so guys, that, guys, let's let, let's make progress. Let's it was make not a, it was let's not let's, a let's, let's that, make that we're talking about the budget. We, we, budget. we, 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 we get food to yeah. eat again, nothing you have to be a budget budget. <laughs> First of all, I got my my this, this, degree in finance. That is why that's that's why I'm enjoying this one. Yeah, but Rudolph, <laughs> you know, look, there is serious situation right now in the country. Thank the you, people man. don't even understand anything they are talking budget, budget, budget. If they no, can't no, 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 Vasco, Vasco, don't do that. I don't understand. Vasco, that's why we suggest people understand what we're talking about. I don't understand this budget can, can play a major role in the life of these people. I care less about them understanding. I care more about them. Oh, you care less about the impact in the yard. No, listen to me. I care less about them understanding what a budget is. I care more about them feeling the impact of the budget in the yard. Thank you. Thank you. Let's hold you there. Let's hold you there and bring in this audio, this video. I am saying here that those who support the continuation of the 24 year where we are in peace, I support such people. You can blow me, I blow you in a personal thing, but when you support 24 years of peace and its continuation to allow our children and those unborn for their mother to deliver them peacefully on a conducive atmosphere where investors will get attracted to come and invest. And put food on the people table. I stand by you. But if people who just got elected, that we went on the ground to do everything we could in our weekdays, spend our own money, our vehicles there are all down because of that. If you can prioritize uh, work on coal, asset recovery, this one at the early stage. The question would be, what about Madame Saleh who had the larger troops, international troops, in this country for UN? It was the time to do what they wanted to do. The troops that came here was the larger troop ever in Africa for peace. They didn't do it. They did not do it during George Bear time. But they, there was a noise. And George Rell sent a letter to the Senate to advise him. The Senate had an open hearing, invited experts from all over to come. And they found out that the TRC, based upon with the one World Bank, is filled with flaws, biases. It was politically uh, put together to accuse and that you know you know guys we we're gonna go further we're gonna go further but let's take this gradually <clears throat> this man goes to the senator for his blessing a tough race 
is about to begin for the senatorial seat in Nimba County. That's Samuel Koga, right? Yeah, Representative Samuel Koga. A very tough race is about to take off in the county. As it stands, <laughs> okay, let me not go to that aspect, but the lawmaker goes to the kingmaker for his blessing. The kingmaker is making remarks. He leaves the support. He leaves the election. He goes straight to war crimes court. He goes to his support, how he spent his money, his resources, all his cars are down because they had to go into the trenches to support people who, when it came to power, they only prioritize war and economic crimes court. Let's 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 take the conversation from there, guys. What do you think is happening here? It's let's let's start with you, a uh, uh, Bila, and then we'll go to Vasco. Thank you, Najin. <laughs> you know, that is what happened. You know, Prince Johnson has not been a stranger to some of all that I've always known him for over the past year of time. Why should someone always be guilty of work on code? And even leaving issues of concern, linking it with work on code, preaching on it. Even when somebody goes to you to, to get their support again, you talk about work on code, huh? There is somebody who will go against work on code and talk about peace, all the stuff. I think Mr. Bree Johnson has come to a conclusion now where his guilt speaks in everywhere he goes. So I want to say this. Prince Johnson, you told Mr. Nyanfuan from Nimba County to support the Unity Party, that you guys are going to rally around him to make him a senator in the second round of the election. It is today now you know that Mr. Nyanfuan is going to betray you. Take it from me. Keep me on record today, Najin. If Prince Johnson is not careful in Nima, you're going to be the, one of those politicians that we know around here that do not have vote in that bring politics in. The likes of Bernie Sherman, the likes of Heron Costanen, Prince Johnson is going to end that up very soon. Because the issue of a betrayal, we know Prince Johnson has not been always honest in his politics. We understand that. Why should Prince Johnson always be threatened by people who Talk about impunity should not go. But our people should not go impunity with something that they did. You say you you but, but, you, you but don't, don't you think don't you think the senator has a point here too? Like you you put your all into a particular process, and perhaps yeah. in in everything the senator was doing, his expectation was that he was going to have a shield, he was going to be protected by the very administration that he was fighting to elect. That's that's why he went to the trenches. There was this day when Senator Prince Johnson went to one of the counties, uh, if, uh, some part of the county, and he made the statement about Nima people, you know, I think our son, our son, we come and produce vice president and stuff like that. And other people beat on the senator. I remember across the country, everywhere, people were beating on the senator that, he shouldn't have made the comments he made with this whole tribal stuff. But he did it because of the struggle. He did it because of what he believed in. He did it because he had an expectation. He anticipated that at the end of the day, for the victory, he would have gotten some level of protection. Don't you think the senator is disappointed at this point? So Prince Johnson has always been tribalistic in his politics, and that's his strength. Anybody, if you know Prince Johnson, his message is always driver. So that's his strength. So one thing, one of the questions I want to ask you again, where Prince Johnson not in the know that this, the, the United Party, but then in opposition, we're talking about war crime, code, even during election, every while, every April, the people go to talk about war crime. Code. Why did Prince Johnson did not? Tell, it was not, I don't want to believe in my own red matter. There was an agreement that Prince Johnson made with Mr. Guagada. If you come in power, don't talk about Walker and Cook or the establishment of Walker and Cook. Prince Johnson supported Mr. Walker on the basis of interest. And that interest was Mr. Kuhn to become vice president. And when the, when the party got elected, as 
as a, as a party, as a ruling partner, there are some interests they put forward. And those interests were discussed. So I don't want to believe that the, the, the issue of a war crime code was something that was skipped out and not talked about because it was one of the key messages the unity party read on. And I think people should forget about being playing the victim role because seeing Prince Johnson, like he mostly playing the victim role, I know the guilt of what he did in the past is at certain percent that Prince Johnson cannot sit now. Even in the prior church, you talk about war crime code. Somebody go for support, you talk about war crime code. You interview Prince Johnson tomorrow, you will talk about war crime code. You, 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 you're not bringing issues of war crime code. So, I mean, let him stop playing this, this, this victim role in the front of So you want to bring war crime code? Bring a damn war crime code. Don't be speaking your stinking about everything. He's scratching every day. And I think they should stop. Mr. Prince Johnson, you have always been in like Marine Party people respect you from the angle on. And nobody can say Mr. Prince Johnson has not been respected from the angle on Nima. If you say that here today on the platform, they're going to be unfair to us. We know Mr. Prince Johnson has always been that way. But you Thank supported you. somebody. Let's, let's, you told somebody to, to conclude quickly. You told somebody that you're going to support them on the basis of. They, they should support you, you're going to support them in return. And that's why you believe in And when you read, when you listen to that statement, he said, we support people that support them. Why you cannot support Mr. Nyanfana? You're placing the ball on his side because you say the men are crook. And when I listen to that recording, I was very, very disappointed in Mr. Prince Johnson. But he has always been the guy. Dude. Thank you. V Vasco, let's hear your take on this, this, this issue. Yeah. Um, Nelson, you know, for me, uh, I actually, I don't support Prince Johnson, but I don't support him because he is the reason why we lost the election. Because I mean, you mean CDC? yeah, he's the reason why we lost the election. But one thing I don't support him. But how, one, how can I, how can single person be the reason why an entire institution, political party? Vasco, do you think if you had done your work, if you had put your house in order, if you had done what the librarian people elected you to do as an institution? <laughs> Don't you think you 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 would have had the opportunity to retain your seat? Yeah, is it is it fair to blame Senator Prince Johnson? No, you're gonna go to the other aspect to make a point. But is it fair to blame Senator Prince Johnson for the defeat of the CDC? Yeah, because if you look at the result of the election, mm -hmm. Nima County was one of the county that we did our best. We got like 50, 50 some thousand plus vote. But you saw the number of the United Party go from Nima County. Mm -hmm. When you look at all the other counties, cities there extremely well. Even the Lofa County that the 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 the, the, the current president came from, we, we we changed that narrative during the election. So I mean, CDC did extremely well, but the manner and form in which the people of Nima County can listen to Prince Josie, mm -hmm. we've been seeing it from the past election from Ellen even from the CDC time and now Waka. So that's why I'm saying it okay. was because of he Prince Johnson and the people of Nima County will lose the election. Because if we had Nima and our side election on just one one, one round. But I think Prince, Prince Johnson actually feel betrayal. And I know that Mr. Waka that I know. How well do you know him? I know Mr. Waka well. That my kinsman from Lofa County. I know you. 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 I I I love my you know, man. The fact that you didn't support man, your uncle, uncle, all I wanted, all I wanted can lead to your victory. That one <laughs> trial that I've seen, I trap. They don't even know your niece, but <laughs> your, you like your uncle, you're related. I but, love but yeah, go, go ahead. Make, make your point back. So I think this papa betrayed Prince Josie. And my brother, I don't want, I know you say Prince Josie gave his word to Yantuan. But yeah. the man not informed the United Party treating Prince Josie. And let me tell you, during the campaign, how many times you saw Baka discussing war crime code? Oh, when Prince Josie gave his support to the United Party, even the Delon and I were making noise behind Prince Josie war crime code. 
everybody on the spoon show. All the panelists that used to go on that show, all of them shy away from what crew. Because you people sure? just were on the south. Definitely. I bet. Nelson, bring any... Just no, about no, no, no. Don't, hold me as a Don't hold me as a witness. I'm yeah. a host. Anybody I, I, I can have, bring, I have no can bring opinion, any I have recording. No but but, but here's the thing. Bring Vasco, the campaign. Vasco, the Vasco. Vasco. went on in on a campaign trip and said, so I will bring somebody be the hindrance to walk and go coming? No, no, guys, let, let's protect Fasco. Is that what you're telling us? No. Vasco gave his word to Prince Johnson that because these are some of the things before Prince Johnson support you. Let me tell you today, before Prince Johnson support you, these are some of the things he can bring to you. Oh, okay, okay. okay. Let's, 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 let's start the conversation from here, Pasco. Yeah. Before Senator Prince Johnson support anyone, these are conversations he will bring to you. They, are, are you trying to tell us indirectly that the CDC had a conversation, closed door, behind closed door, with the senator that he should support the CDC that the CDC would not bring war crime, war and economic crimes court, and you guys agree on it, and he gave you guys his support. That's why the CDC did not effectuate this whole idea of war crimes court. No, Nelson. No, no. I, I, I'm just using your own comment and wanting to arrive somewhere. I said something. I said before Prince Johnson support you, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. He gave you some conditions. And he supported the CDC. And, and Did he give some of those and conditions? Then, yeah, CDC. Yeah. He supported the CDC, right? Yeah. Okay. So Bernard George, who has a very smart leader, mm -hmm. he never told anybody that he don't want to bring Walker and Cole. No. No, 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 let's, no, 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 I, 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 say, point again. We, we the same thing now, Mr. Baka is about to do, and this is why he would do because if Mr. Baka ready to see what for the war ground court, he will sign the executive order, he got the power now. He has sent it to the, the what to the house to the send it, it went to the house, it passed, it's going to send it now, and it sent it, send it to another judiciary room or what for them to go discuss it. So, President, we are saying. We need people to advise all about the work we are going to send it to the same people. And what is what do people say? They were not timely. So he played his card well. Now it's Baka now. He have given his word to the American people. And that is why driving Prince Johnson crazy. Because the people that the people that Prince Johnson have seen sitting with Baka and discussing the issue of the work we go, he know now it's getting very serious. So based on that, Prince Johnson want to support somebody that he trusts, that will stand up for him now when it comes to the issue of the war crime code. He don't trust the United Party anymore. So because that Yantuan is on the United Party ticket, he will not support Yantuan. He made it clear here, recall he listened to it. But Koga, Koga is already in the house and he already, even in the house of, 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 of the representative, he going, he went against the issue of the war crime code, Samuel Koga. So Prince Johnson know very well that when Samuel Koga go in the Senate, he would but, join that uh, team for them to go uh, against the issue know, of the war know, crime. And, and Vasco, great analysis, great comments here. But I wanted to settle a dust, uh, set, settle the dust on a few things here because few things are not connecting to me. I don't know, but few things are not connecting here. So the first thing is. You said that part of the reason why Senator uh, President George Weir, okay, no, let's 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 start from here. Part of the <laughs> reason why the senator pledged his support to the CDC was because there was a closed door conversation. There were agreements that were made behind closed doors. Definitely, we agree on some things. There were terms presented. And you're yeah. on terms. Yeah. Fast forward, CDC takes office, the issue of war crimes code is brought to the table. Are you saying that the president, the former president, smartly played with this thing of war crimes code because of the terms that was given to him by Senator Prince Johnson? According to you, before the senator gives the support, there are terms and conditions that you lay down, you have those conversations behind closed doors. Definitely is it because Look. of those terms? Is it because of those reasons that President Weir, 
did not establish the war and economic crimes court. Nancy, you're right. Wow. There will always so, be so, a discussion. So, 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 this so what is not just is this that the this president prioritized, no, no. the former president, president prioritized are, the priest Johnson over the Liberian people. No, 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 no. No, no, no Nelson. Thing. No. He didn't. He didn't. President We are is a man of peace. One. President, we have very smart, a very smart leader. Look up uh, of Madame Salif. Look, do you know that Liberia will have the largest and biggest peacekeeping tool ever? In that small country, and then no, the, no, the no, president no, at the no, time, no, Manasseri. No. Do you know that Manasseri supported uh, Prince Joseph supported Manasseri? We're gonna come back to you. Did uh -huh. you hear Manasseri discussing anything about the issue of the war crown court? No. So Let's George, see. we are coming out taking over a fragile country with no security. All the security left the country. Just have few uh, uh, soldier people and few police people. Prince Johnson already been in power. All the warlords been in power. He should come and prioritize the issue of the war crime code. Why the Labyrinth people still struggling? They cannot even get right now. No, everybody's saying, people bashing at other lawmakers. You think this is the rightful time for this government to start pushing the issue of a war crime code? Okay. Do you Thank think you, so? Pastor, let's, let's hold you there and and and, and uh, be like. Do you think so? Quickly, twenty seconds. I want to debunk the the saying from my brother that President we are was smart. If anybody was smart and fair mm -hmm. to the Liberian people, it is Mr. Bwaga. If you think you can support Mr. Bwaga, the man has always said, if you think you can support me to come to power or believe that I will not achieve what I'm supposed to achieve, you lie to yourself. Okay, let us soon to admit that what you're saying it is true for accuracy, right? Okay, Mr. Baga is saying, okay, fair enough, we agree. But the people want the war crime code. Let the war crime code be implemented. So are you telling me a clean hair man, Mr. George Weir, okay. who is there, he has nothing to do with it with the with the war. Absolutely nothing. Yeah. Was not having that fair enough man to say there is something that I should do. You're talking about security, there are processes leading to war crime code being established. I don't want people to say our state is fragile. These are poor excuses. Now today telling us it's not timely, Vasco. You tell well, us it's not the right time for war crime code to be established. Come on. Nobody is very against the war crime code, but you should have a you should have priority as a government. You should always put your people first. Every government put their people first. The well-being of your people should be first. Every other thing or issue of a war crime code. You can't get one print Johnson, get Tomo Yaya, you get whosoever over there. Eh? So accountability is not a priority. Shouldn't be a priority. What, like, what, 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 what would be the benefit? What would what what would be the benefit of the ordinary people? Do you really think what can go to the library? That why you're really thinking on? So so, 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 <clears throat> so so let's you let's take brother, 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 please, please go ahead. Do brother, it. Brother, brother, please go ahead. Let me let me progress. I have them. I have them. Them very patient in the back. Let me go ahead to Vasco, please. <laughs> yeah, that's me. You know, um, Vasco has just exposed the kind of leader president we are was. Sure. This is Vasco telling us that Mr. We are valued the fact that he was Liberia's president through Prince Johnson or. To a, or to a certain extent, Nelson, Nelson got to check me the man. Or to a certain extent, he 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 valued the safety of Prince Johnson, who is an individual, no. over the Liberian people. This is what he just told us, my my people. So it's left with you. If we are surface again, that's it. You you, no. you know what to do. But Nelson, you know um. But you ever tell us establishing a war crime code now? Every time. I uh, hear interrupting our brother, which is yeah. can we all mute? <laughs> Eli, can we mute your, your mic? Yeah, you know, Nelson. The thing is, this and I would will start with saying Prince Johnson is no threat, he's weak, he's old, he's failed, he poses no threat to us. And the issue about Mr. Weir did not just 
I mean, play with this thing because of Prince Johnson Nelson. We have seen reports. We have seen pictures. We have, have seen accusation. That means that we have supported Model. So he too has a, a hand in this thing. So he was not just protecting PYJ, he was protecting himself as well. But we all follow JMB campaign. There was never a point in time. Thank you. Easy. There was never a point Nelson, in time. You, Nelson, you prove it to us that you supported the rescue team. <laughs> no, you know no, 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 I have to put that up. That right? Man, I, I, I want to be fair enough. Right. Listen, the guy said he has everything. So, Vasco, you should have given me the chance. Okay. To because tell I know you, you always, you always to check me. exactly me. why I posted this photo. Mm -hmm. So, Rudolph said there are evidence. There are pieces of evidence. I said we have we have seen pictures. We have Is this listened, one of the pictures? Have, yes, that's one of them. We have listened is, 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 to. Is it authentic? Is it authentic? Nelson, I don't know the authenticity. Can of you this speak picture. to the authenticity of this photo? That is what I'm saying. I cannot. No, but but then, but then right? Rudolph, Rudolph, but it means it, that Nelson. you are making comment that you can't prove. No, Nelson. You Nelson. Yeah, you're, you're always, yeah. Nelson, here is no, it. No, no, no. Vasco, don't, don't, don't. Nelson, that, Nelson. Yeke Koluba fought the war, right? Mm. Yeke has said to us on national radio that. We are keen to the base, bringing their support, and they start together and smoke opium together. He said it. He's on record for that. And he said that when the war crime, when the, the war crimes code comes, he will provide his evidence. Yeka is a state man. So whatever he said, that was a source for some of us. To go further, Prince Johnson was not promised anything by JMB. My hands on JMB everywhere he appeared on every platform when he was asked this question, he said he is in support of it. And let me just say this: even Prince Johnson is on record on spoon for saying that if that one 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 of them won't let it come. Jeremiah right. Coon is oh, also my. on record, he's on a, a tip for supporting this process. So why why so why now? Why is Mr. Johnson crying? Talking about JMB, with I mean, like it's too soon. I mean, who like is it? Who who questions if it is too soon or is or is not too soon? The thing is, the war crimes court is not a one day thing. It takes process. So we are just starting the process now. Who knows? The court, the court might not even be established until the next four years. We don't know. But what what Prince Johnson won is this. He knows fully well that JMB is. Somehow aged, and he is going for only one turn. So they so they want him to start the negotiation for war crimes court when he is in his fifth year or sixth year, knowing that the next person that will, will come in, maybe he will influence that person and they will stop the process. We are not stupid here. Baka do not baby. Mr. Baka campaign and told our brain people say he is going to cancel the culture of impunity, and that's what he's doing. Nelson, there are lots of Liberians out of Liberia who are doing well for them, themselves and they want to come home, but they still live with agony because of what happened to them during the war. They have, their families were killed in front of them and they have not seen justice. This is a closure for them all. Nelson, I guarantee you, you this. When this court is established and these people have been brought to have been brought to justice. Nelson, you, you are going to see a rapid development going on in the country. Not just by, by, by foreign investors, but by Liberians who will, will now, now feel that, that they have found justice and, and they can return home with investments. You will see it happening. We, we are not, not going to cover up Prince Johnson and allow our, 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 our country, country to be stagnant. No, we will not do that. This is a new new day. We are going to receive a lot of donor support and support from our own people when this court is, is, a, is established, Nelson. So fear Prince Johnson that he is old, he's failed, he's slow, he can do anything to us. JMB is the last man that can 
bring this this justice to our people. But but they, but, but they, in, in the midst of everything we we we're talking about here, yeah. Rudolph, is this going to have a reflection on the politics in Nimba this by election? No, 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 because Nelson. because it was it was easy. The Unity Party had her way through Nimba County. Yes. In they just ended presidential election, legislative election. Yeah. But if you are coming, I mean, if, if you want to take into consideration where we're headed now, is, is it going to be the same thing? Now that you have the Godfather on one hand, and on the other hand, you have uh, the, 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 the vice president who also has a voice, but arguably it might not be cons uh, compared to uh, that of the voice. That Senator Prince Joseph has in Nima County. What do Nelson. you think is the state of the Unity Party in this case? Nelson, yeah, Given a war crimes court. Now, I'm, I'm coming. The Senator has made it clear that part of the reason why he will not support the Unity Party candidate is because he feels betrayed. He said he spent his resources, he put his time, energy, and everything into supporting somebody who has betrayed him. What Nelson. do you think is the fate of the unity party. Nelson, Nelson, I said this before and I will say it again. Mm -hmm. You 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 cannot expect from someone mm -hmm. what they haven't promised you. JMB didn't promise him anything. But Yari said to the How issue you of know? the election. To the issue of the election, right? Yes, yes. Nelson, you be, uh, Prince, the, the Johnson, the Prince Johnson was not the only factor that helped us in Nima County. Don't forget our vice president healed from Nima. He's a son of Nima. Don't forget the young. No, no, no. But, but if you want to go there, if you mm -hmm. want to go there, then I'll take you back to the meeting. That meeting, that faithful day, when when names were surfacing as to who goes as vice to President Barker now. Yes. Senator Yomni Lawrence's name was one of those names. Mm -hmm. And then uh, you heard other names around the corner, Little Henry Costa, and all of those other names that had to surface. Uh -huh. On that faithful day. Yes. When Senator Prince Yedube Johnson paid that faithful visit on that faithful day to the faithful president of the Republic of Liberia, the story changed. Just as the media carried everything about that visit, suddenly we saw that the name JKK surfaced. Yep. The next thing, the momentum grew. The next mm -hmm. thing, there was there was split. In no time, he was being named. So, again, the question of who made this person comes into the picture. Nelson. Oh, yeah, he's a voice. How did he become a voice? Nelson. Who Nelson. Held his hand and Nelson. launched on him into the politics, into the Liberian politics. Now no, that, now let me that make this correction. Hmm. Jeremiah Kuhn has always been a, a UP partisan. Yeah. So... He so he was an option, obviously, because he is a member of the party, so he was an option. But Nelson, here is it. Let me me let me me go back. Nelson, Prince Johnson claimed that he was defending the people of Nimba during the war, right? If he is so much convicted with his with his narrative of the war, why is mm. he scared? And number two, if you were defending your people, this war crime court is not coming for you alone. Those people who were trying to kill your people. Ten seconds, with, just concluding ten seconds quickly. Those people who were, were those, fast going. We yeah, go thank you. Right. Those people who were killing your your people mm -hmm. will also face justice, and your people who they kill need justice too. So why so why is he making it about him? That's being selfish, Nelson. Thank you, thank you, thank, thank you, Ruda. Uh, um, be, be that coming quickly. Then we take Vasco. We'll go to the phone lines. I'll put the number. Thank you, thank you, quickly. I just, I just wanted to register something quickly. In as much as I've had my disagreement with Mr. We are and other stakeholder, but I think it is important, Rudolph, <laughs> and a disabled intellectual in Mr. Kuluba should not be used as a tool of shows to 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 indict somebody because. That man has been one person. No, who... he is not inducted. We can use the word induct. No, he's not inducted. Excuse me. Excuse me. I mean, Lena, he's inducted intellectually. He's inducted verbally. He's not inducted by quotes. He's inducted by somebody's mouth. You can even indict somebody on the show. By he, doing was certain things like he was accused. So let's get to the real aspect of the, the, the issue. 
I've had all my disagreement with Mr. Weir. And even you bring Mr. Weir back 2026 20, as a presidential material, I say he is not. Because he doesn't have the charisma, the understanding. And you know, but on the issue of leveraging certain allegations in terms of what people say is a problem, I think we should a little bit exist from that. I know we want to play the devil advocate sometimes to balance our argument. Uh, somebody say, when Mr. Baga would call a different fool, this are these are yeah, like I always say, I said to my brother, the delusional statement, and it was somehow, and I think we should a little bit this this is but on the issue of uh what nursing says as related to that question is a very important thing, and I think nobody should erase the fact that Prince Johnson is a heavy hand in the Mbappe politics until the renewal of intellectual can come and renew the minds of people in Nimba on different trends on politics and other tribal politics, Prince Johnson will always become a heavy hand. And it is a threat to the unity party. There must be negotiation before the election. These those these negotiations should try to take trends before the election. If it will not be, then there is a battle in in, in, in Nimba County. Nursing. Thank I can you. tell you that for sure tonight. Thank you. Vasco, quickly, then we'll go to the lines. You want to unmute? You are muted. Oh, we lost Vasco. So, um, <laughs> you know, Vasco, Vasco didn't come with <laughs> chasing away. So he, he clicked on the wrong button. <laughs> Vasco clicked the wrong button. But uh, we'll have to go to the lines. Uh, maybe Vasco will come back and um. You know the leaf and the mark when you press on the mark, and the red, the red yeah. sign appears on the board. Maybe yeah, you so, get press the leaf. <laughs> yeah. So he just click on that, and then that was it. But I'm putting the number up now so we can uh, get some calls from our folks out there in case you want to call in. Okay, Vasco is back. Va Vasco, you can quickly make your point as we go to the phone lines. Again, no audio. You want to log out? Vasco, can you hear me? Okay, so just log out, try to come back in. Um, why, why I uh, put the numbers up now? So we take a few calls uh, and then we'll be wrapping up shortly. Um, let me get the numbers here. But you can call us up on 055. One zero one zero seven five zero triple five, one zero one zero seven five, and uh, the WhatsApp number is right here. You can uh, make your input from here as well. Okay, you can make your input from here and um, call us on WhatsApp. Call that number only on WhatsApp or call zero triple five one zero one zero seven five, and you'll be live. Vasco, are you here? Vasco, I don't know. For some reason, your audio is not just coming true. Vasco, why? Unmute yourself and see. It's not it. Why only with Senator Prince Johnson talking point now? Your your audio gone blank. Vasco is he, muted. No, he's not muted. Vasco, log out and try logging in again. So let's 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 take some calls. Um, let me try to uh make some adjustment here so we start to take few calls on the whatsapp and on our regular lines uh so let's take our first call here this person good morning welcome you're live on the show yes sir let's hear you name is bobby Dwebe. i do join you from you, you join us from where Carwell. okay let's hear you sir yeah Thank you, my brother. Even if the issue as thorough issue, but it began from Liberian, mm -hmm. from Prince Johnson. Okay. We see the, the another Liberian seeing crown people and give people not having the opportunity and will never have the opportunity to have the president of the, or a vice president. So we, the people of Nima County, have decided to fight a just fight. And peacefully, not true war, to make sure that we empower any of our brother or sister to get a presidency. So let me give this to the Bagalev. Oh, too bad. We lost that color there. 
uh, 0555101075. And the WhatsApp number is on the screen. You can yeah, call on WhatsApp. Yeah. Hello, you're live. Your name and where you call from? My name is Iman. And I call you from Africa, Chicota. Go ahead, please. Let's hear you. I love the topic tonight. What really the, the topic is, is truth. Everybody should face in trust it. If that's what your country will be well and everything will go on accurate. I love the way Joseph Bama is moving. Me, I'm a city chef, but I love the way he's moving on. I love the way. I think it's the best, it's the best way he's doing things now. I think it's one of the best countries now. Thank you. You are an honest edition, my brother. Thank you. Thanks a lot. Let's take another person. Hello, you're live. Your name and where you call from? Um, I'm Mr. Sienwa calling from Kawe. Let's let's hear you quickly, sir. Yeah. To the topic on discussion, where especially the budget issue, I highly appreciate that from the president and that of every other people that supported that. Okay. And my main recommendation is that, oh, just as our brother saying, we should prioritize the budget. Thank you. Because when it comes to full security, you know what is in who is cardinal. Thank you, sir. Let's and let's. We pray that there will be not done against the issue of this or war crime or the water. We are all yearning for justice. Let's hold you there, sir. Thank you very yes, much. Yes, Let's sir. take another yes. person on the line. Hello, you're live. Your name and where you call from? This is Moses Keter, Philadelphia. Okay, let's hear you, sir. All right. Um, the issue of the war crime court and the Prince Johnson. Mm -hmm. Um, first of all, I must debunk Mr. Vasco. Mm -hmm. There were a lot of uh, interviews in which United Party or GMB supporters clearly stated they were all for war crime court, including Jeremiah Kuhn. And I want to tell Mr. Vasco to keep information or such information as you come on the platform and, 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 and give argument. At some point, as, as Rudolf rightly said, Prince Johnson himself considered the idea of war crime court. And let's get to the point that Prince Johnson is not the only warlord in Liberia. There were seven war factions in Liberia killing people, carry on heinous crime. And it is savage on his part to continue to scapegoat the people of Nima County. Uh, I do agree that Nima citizens were marginalized, and at some point, some Nima equally marginalized on trial people. So we do need the culture of the to the end in our country. Mr. Keter, Mr. Keter, let me ask yes. you this question. Yes. Uh, what do you think yes. would be the fate of the Unity Party in Nimba County at this time, especially for this by-election, given that Senator Prince Johnson is on the other end, why Senator Jeremiah Kuhn and the United Party are on the other end, supporting two different candidates in the race. What do you think are the chances of the Unity Party at this time? I think they got a great chance. And, and, and even if they should lose an election, mm -hmm. we should also put national interest ahead of our political uh, interests. So even if the Party does not get a name or whatever seat, the central seat in Nimba, mm -hmm. and they stand for something, I would say if I would I would respect them for that. But uh, I think Pete Johnson, in fact, as a president, may not even be as powerful as he is uh, as okay. he was during this one election. Thank so you, I sir. do think Nimba, uh, especially the Mayakun, to lift the hand of the man that you see him with me a lot than Pete Johnson. It's very with a baby cry. Thank you. I mean, it pretty looks very small. I must I must admit. Thank you. So I think I think little party has a great stand. Thank, Thank you, you very much, sir. That the people go and follow their uh is it looking very small. Good morning. Good morning. Let's hear you. Your name and where you call from. Thank you, Nelson. My name is Daniel Sobodera. I joined you from my EW Rex. Yeah, please go ahead quickly. Oh, uh, let me appreciate all of the panelists this morning. Mm -hmm. And I think well, one thing we should understand here is mm -hmm. uh, Brent Johnson is an individual who got a right to support who he wants to support. Exactly. Uh, the United Party also got a right to support who all they want to support. Mm -hmm. The United Party did not betray Brent Johnson because they were clearly in their manifesto that there were going to be an advocacy for those, for, for people stop going with impunity in this country. 
okay. that is those who fought war have to go to war crown court, those who corrupt have to go to economic crown court. It was clear when Johnson saw all of these things, he preferred them over the CDC. So see now crying like a baby sometimes it, 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 it baffles me but however now twine who is a part of the team he committed over 50,000 votes in Lima so he got your own screen the Nimbalians also want to produce president in the country so I believe that they will not go away of Prince Johnson thank because you because more Prince Johnson will be leaving the stage so who are they going to depend on Thank you, so sir. Let's... I'm not going to listen to the vice president and Yan to be the next Thank, you. Thank you. Let's hold you there and take another person. Hello, you're live. Your name and where you call from. Good morning. I'm Henry H. Gay, calling from the, the single belt. Henry, let's hear you. To be specific, to be specific, to Yeah, let's hear you. Go ahead. Uh, let us take this as a silver money issue in this country. Mm-hmm. Brent Johnson is not the only person who fought war in this country. Why would he be yearning for, for war and could not to come to Liberia? Why? The man said, you let the party betray him. But we don't care about that because we are not doing things in his interest. We put our country at first. No, no, and... but, 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 but listen, sir, listen. Um, this man supported Madam Ellen Johnson's relief. He got her protection. He supported President George Weah. He got his protection. Why That's is it all... this time around he supported the rescue mission? You heard him in that video we just played. He said, even the cars that he used to go in the trenches to 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 to, 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 to campaign, all his cars are down. He spent his resources and everything, but now you're betraying him with war crimes court. That's why we are saying we are not doing this because of self interest. Is our country goes for us because if we continue as uh, as Liberian to protect people, our country is not going to go anywhere when it comes to a lot of pe- people who cause care in this country. And leave our peoples because they say, "Oh yeah, we're defending our 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 tribal people." Okay. That shouldn't be the that shouldn't be the point because it made no sense that a huge a huge crime committed by people in this country, we give them public office, they are lottering around here while we, we are using our taxpayer money paying them. It made no sense. Thank as, you. As a librarian. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Okay. We'll take the last two calls and then we wrap up. We take this person. Hello. You're live, your name, and where you call from. Good morning, my dear brother. How are you? Yes, sir. We're okay. It's good to have you. Okay. My name is uh, Aaron P. Bunde. What are you from Fender Community? Mr. Bunde, let's hear you quickly, sir. Beautiful. Okay. Thank you so much. Uh, my attention has been drawn to the work on court. I, when the TRC released the the, 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 the copy of those who committed hinder crimes in this country. Mm-hmm. I think we distributed the copy to, to people, but I was being left with one. So, recent time, when the lawmaker still signed the work and code, I brought a copy out there. All okay. the people were surprised. They said, Where did you get a book from? I said, They said, Why you put the nose beginning? Today, today, they are the light. For those who commit a hero crime, their names are listed in the in our book. And with the with the crimes they committed. So I want to make you understand that you know uh, our current president one of said in his campaign message, he said he has certain things to tell the Liberian people and to do for the Liberian people. So Senator Prince Johnson, he didn't know. Okay. But the way he proceeding uh, with a bad election in Lima County, Senator Prince Johnson will lose political relevance in Lima County. Thank you. Nobody, nobody voted. Senator Prince Johnson will lose political relevance in Lima County. I expect it's, it's interaction with within the, uh, the, the by election in Nima County. Thank you. Thank you, yeah, sir. Thank you. Right. Thank you very much for your contribution tonight. Well, at the final call here, and then we go. Hello. Can you go ahead, sir? You're live. Hello. Good morning. How are you doing? Yeah, please go ahead, sir. You are a final caller. Okay, my name, uh, thank you so much. My name is Bowman G. Samala, and I'm calling you from Grand Cape Mount County. Okay, from Grand Cape Mount yeah. County. Are you following via radio or social media? 
I'm following you by radio and every since I started here, I'm almost close to starting a border every month, every evening. I monitor you guys until day. Oh, because okay. this, uh, this is the month of Ramadan. Many times uh, I reside, you know, they monitoring you guys too. Okay. So Thank I want to take the time to appreciate the, the, uh, the management. But uh, the first appeal is uh, you guys, we have to please try to at least give some, at least, uh, some, uh, some hours to us too. Because we want to really take time in some of the conversation. Yeah, you can walk call, but so now we can get a time to open the line for you to call in, right? Yeah, okay. so at least open the line for some of them, man. We can really be grieving. Okay, thank okay, you. Okay, okay, coming to your talking point. Thank mm -hmm. you so much. But one good thing is I, I, I don't think the honorable man will survive this time around. The reason being that is, for my own analysis, I've been doing it through all the, from the beginning of the election. Mm -hmm. You know, kind of being one of the biggest counties in the Republic of Liberia, they have been trying at all means to you know, produce a uh, president and then thank God that they keep to a very bad president. Because mm -hmm. they, are, they are wishing to get the, the president proper. So I don't think they, they see that they see betrayed. Because this, this particular announcement is not something free. It is something that United Parties have been pronouncing it ever since from the initial stage, from the struggle, from the beginning of the struggle. Okay. So I think based up, based on that, for my own analysis, I think uh, uh, Michael will make it because they, the Nimadian also want to produce somebody. They want to produce a president. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. I hope you guys will, uh, you know, yeah, accept we, we, my... Yeah, we, we, we will take a yeah, look at that. We will start to open the line earlier so that you guys can have more time to make your input. Thank we you so much. Have a blessed working time. Okay, thank you, sir. This person has been on the line, um, so let me just quickly squeeze this person in real quick. Uh, you have uh, just 45 seconds, sir. Go ahead, please. You're live. Yeah, good morning to... Uh... The panelists of there is a skater and the Asian call from the US of A. Uh, thank you very much, uh, Kule. Uh, uh, you know, one thing I want to say here is that spring junction, spring junction should relax. Do not a single person that fought this war. Even people in government were accused of fighting this war. The only way Jesse will come to Liberia, I mean, it will be that. When the war crime could come and people go to uh, uh, benefit themselves from, from, from the war crime code, you will go there and, and, and explain why you know. Okay. If you still, if you, you go through. Thank you, sir. If, if this uh, article said they can go to, go to the, the, the heat and, and, and benefit himself and he came back, he can go there and come back. So you should not be a threat. Thank you. You understand? So, I mean, this is what I have to say. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, sir. We appreciate you. I think we'll come back now to do our closing because we are out of time. So, let's start with you, uh, Vasco, and then Bila. Yeah, Nelson, it was a great show. <clears throat> but before I leave, let me make this clear. Because I saw my brother, my, my brother Rudolph running, running all over the place. Look. I want to make it clear here, President, we are never against the war crown code. President, we are made but, effort. But, but, but Vasco. Nessie Vasco. already. Vasco. Oh, okay, okay, no, go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> you know, because when I try to inject, when I try to erect the necessary checkpoints, you say, oh, I'm, I'm, I'm rescued. In fact, I got sad. So go ahead, Vasco. You just make your point. And, and what I'm saying, that's the fact. The president took the issue of this war crime code to the same group of people that President Baka is dealing with right now. So that was an effort. Whatsoever advice or whatsoever thing that was going to come from over there, the president was going to act upon it. Because those people, they are the voice of the people. They represent the entire uh, citizenry of the country. So that's the people the president was dealing with. So nobody can sit down here and say, President, we are in made effort. Nobody can say, say that. President, we are made effort to the issue of the war crime code. So the same effort now, the same betrayal, 
to what guys giving to 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 Prince Johnson, but the, the just that he own is so broad, and our leader shouldn't be like this. You guys, you guys are saying, oh yeah, President, we, but Baka was saying this during his campaign. Leader should be a man of the war. The president, if Baka knew very well that he, the issue of the war crime could have something on him, man. While Prince Joseph, uh, let's, let's do this. I want you Johnson. to listen to this fast, but I want you to have a listen. Uh, uh, Mr. President, Diamond Slanger for Spoon FM. Yeah. Um, the speech caused a, a lot of uproar in Liberia, especially with the portion that had to do with the war crimes court where you mm. made Liberia's case. What should Liberians expect from that particular portion Brother, of the speech? I, I, you know, I just, I just stayed there. I don't understand what you want. Since we came to power, I have not one day called for war crime court. You, the journalists, call for war crime court. Liberians are calling for war crime court. Both the victims and the perpetrator are calling for war crime court. What I did is to explain to them why now. So if you don't understand my English, then you need to go back to the speech and then you read it well. Yes. You calling for work Franco, I say now why this time? <laughs> when we have an economic issue, we're trying to develop our country, why focus on the work Franco code now? Why you did, you did not focus on it 12 years ago? Yes. And those people that were part of the entire process of what happened to us, they left the 12 years. So what now? Is that what you want? Okay, then we we'll send it to the legislature. And that's what librarian can talk about it. I think it's important. <laughs> it's important. Hey, this is important. This is important. Messi, this is very important. You just listen to leader speaking. That yeah, I, and, and I listened to leader speaking. That, that was a leader speaking. Now, the leader said, the journalist calling for war crimes code. The civil society calling for war crimes school. The perpetrators and the victims. They are but calling I've for never one day call for it. But he, the, the leader, have never one day call for it. Mm -hmm. But the first thing he's asking them is, why are you calling for it at this time? Why? Why are you calling for it at this time? And the only thing he said. So he, the leader goes on to say that we got development to do. We got other things to do. Why are you more call for work crime code this time? That the leader mm -hmm. speaking. Yeah. The leader ends up by saying that. And I AR1, I send it to the legislature. But but let's let's look at our <laughs> our governance. Let's look at our system, politics, and everything in our country. Is it is it do, do we have a system, a a a a, a strong legislature? That will resist the executive or the presidency. Do, do, do we have that kind of legislature? Yes, we never had it before. Before they were in the pockets of Mr. Weir because his he was getting a large sum of money that he could spend anyhow. But now, trust me, we are we are, are going to see some independency within the the current current uh legislature. Yeah, yeah Nelson. I can say yes. Yeah. Because during the time of President Weir, mm. there was some appointment made and the, 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 the senator stood up against those appointments. And some of the same thing that happened during those days when those guys stood up. But right now, on Mr. Boaka, I don't think the Senate or the representative we do what they did during the pre uh, president. We are time. V v Vasco, the, the, the question basically was, or uh, is, the president yesterday said the civil society calling for war crimes code. The journalists yeah. calling for it. The perpetrators and the victims, everybody calling for it. But he had never won the call for it. But he asking them, why are you calling for the thing here? So in the same like AR1, we carry to the legislature. The question in uh the, the question that I came in with again is the legislature, the 54th legislature on the former president George Weir, mm -hmm. was it a legislature that was noted for resisting? Being very stern against some of the 
the decisions coming from the presidency? Or was it a, a kind of legislature that the, the executive was able to get anything it wanted out of it? No, Nelson, it was not a legislature that the president could just get anything he wanted out of it. And you all, you sat, we all sat down right here, we witnessed some, some, uh, some events that the, the, the legislature stood up against some, some stuff that the president was trying to or uh, implement or something that he was trying to do. Okay. You saw that. No, no, don't. don't I just you. told you. I just, I just told you. We we sell wabodoki, uh, what other wabodoki, what the wabodiki. They, 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 uh, they don't even stood up. You said what? What's his name? I don't say wabodoki or wabodaki, doki or what? <laughs> we say what? We say so. Zoli, 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 Kill people that want people elected in. But I can stay local and rebel you, and send him to the place there and they don't allow him to pass. They said because he admitted. Let me just before I close, one minute before I leave. I'm leaving several. You know what happening now? We are trying. The Senate were always tough against we are. The House of Representatives. Well, a little bit flexible, but this uh uh uh, uh that Senate, that's the Senate right now that just kind of pass, kind of go. That the, yes. the 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 representative, they are the people that will give Baka a little bit hard time. But for the Senate, just leave it. That's the reason why I see all the confirmation. They give they they giving people job to what fire say what everybody horses burning every day. I don't have one idea. Thank you. The people Thank who say they want to come and, and correct all the mistakes. That's the way seriously out of time. Thank you, sir. You um, 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 Rudolph, you want to take just a minute and then um be that so we can we can wrap this thing up. Yes, I mean, so Nelson, clearly Vasco wasn't following his own government how how it was running, or maybe he has chosen not to say the, the truth on this platform. Because Mr. Weir was one president who got almost everything he wanted to that house or to that uh, branch of of government. But yeah, next thing uh, to wrap up, you know, again, with the issue of the budget, I would like to close on close on that. My people, this, this government is showing you that they care about you so much so that they have created a people-centered budget, a budget focused on impacting the lives of the ordinary people. This time, they are telling you that the office of the president is not as important to take so much money as compared to the people. They are telling you that the office of the vice president doesn't need that much money. It has been cut down. The office of the speaker has been cut down. The money has been cut down. The office of the pro tem has been cut down. And those monies has been added to your health budget to your education budget, to your agriculture budget, and what have you. JNB is fulfilling his promise to you guys. You know, when JNB said that he is going to make government unattractive, these are, are steps in the right direction. Va don't, I mean, Vasco Smo is up here telling you guys about Mr. Weir and, I mean, praise singing. After, after, after Mr. Weir himself just said to you, that you people who are the victims, you are calling for this code, but I have never one day called for it. You're I who I am your leader. I have never looked at your cry to call for it one day. But this is what JMB is doing. He is in our interest and he is working to see that like this will prosper. Thank, Thank you. you, Rudolf. Thank you, Rudolf. Um, quickly, uh, let's let's hear a closing, uh, Bila, because we have to go. Thank you. I think I think it was a good show. And uh, I like to appreciate you for the time, Vasco, and Rudolph as well. You see, I mean, you know, I don't want to go the the way Vasco went because under the Sacramento train, the training of intellectualism, a way that discussing conversation is always to laugh. You see, Mr. We are telling you, say he didn't talk about work and cool. He asked me generally, and I you to have it, and the people to have it. We send it to, that was a measure. You send it to the legislature. Okay, now I can't understand Vasco then from the CDC. Now you're talking about 
Mr. Buya being uh, Mr. Buaka, she sent executive call. Why, why you did not tell Mr. Buya to do to do such to balance the argument today? I mean, people, you gotta be a little bit honest. We say we want work crime code. Mr. Buaka is doing tremendous work in relation to it. There are progress that can lead to work crime code, and there are step at a step that you see that these things are happening. But what we want to tell our people is to conclude on the issue of the budget. I think our culture, as still stand by our culture, should still be primary uh, prior tax. And we should look in that direction of the next budget because I think the budget has already been sent to the house of legislators. If they will do the due diligence, I think they can, because they has oversight to do some allotment, adjustment within the budget. I think they can look at our culture in relation to uplifting the arrest agenda. But I think it was a good show. Uh, let's keep doing this. Thanks to the Spoon family for always giving us the opportunity to speak on some issues of concern. Well, guys, I want to say thanks to everyone tonight for being here. We appreciate uh, the fact that uh, we can come up here to exchange ideas, views on the happiness in the country, or gear towards a better country, a better Liberia, a country where we can all have the opportunity to express, to disagree with our policymakers. Uh, to disagree with our colleagues, but still remain safer in the way we go about doing that. And I, 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 I think that this is just the way we can get our country moving forward. Democracy is our work, and um, we all have a part to play, a contribution to make in making sure that democracy flourishes in our country. So again, I want to say thanks to everyone. Thank you, Rudolph. Thank you, Vasco Smo, and thank you, Bila. And again, um, uh, well, Rudolph, why you? <laughs> <laughs> we have adding at the beginning where you can get a reset already set. They are, they are set the launch screen. As soon as they ring the bell, read before they say get that they may already. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> what was going on? You had you had your food waiting already. You, no, you, you, you. next thing I am here. My son wanted my, my so my son wanted me to give him, him water. That's why I went to give him. Oh, water. okay, okay. So, but um, I want to say thanks to everyone. Our brother for cabinet to read. Thanks for being here. Miss Blessings, we appreciate you. Thanks for being here. Robert uh, Melwan, thanks. We appreciate you. Alfred Kotu, um, Rover, George, AJ, AJ, we appreciate all of you. Cyrus Collins, uh, Comfort Henry, Cy, um, and, 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 and our own brother, not, not BK, say his name is not CC, his name is Sasa. We appreciate you for being here. Yes, yeah, but um, our sister Shirley is having a show tomorrow, and um, we 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 hope you guys can join her. Uh, Bill will be her guest. Uh, it's gonna be a very uh fascinating show, inspiring conversation. You can join Shirley tomorrow on Safari Testify. Bill Rogers, our own brother, will be there. It's gonna be a very uh fascinating conversation. You can join us tomorrow. So um, in the meantime, we want to say thanks to everyone for being here. We look forward to a great show tomorrow. Thanks a lot, guys, and good night. Thank you, Nelson. Good show. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Good night, guys. Yeah. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. A special one from the CEO, Stan Conan with the spoon. And your boy, Friday the South, and then Charges on the beat.